Hey guys, it's Jody, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Before we get started on today's vlog, I just want to send out a huge shout out to Two Tags for kindly sponsoring this portion of today's vlog and also sending me some cute little products. If you guys haven't ever heard of Two Tags, they're an active and athleisure wear company. They create amazing active wear products right here in Australia. They actually first started out in Perth, WA, which is really exciting, all from a small tiny bedroom. And now they're one of the number one top competing active wear brands in Australia, which is so awesome. Two Tags not only cater to active wear for women, but they also cater to men as well. The one thing that I love about Two Tags is that they not only just put out active wear, they also put out hoodies, jumpers, winter wear, trackies. They have a number of accessories on their site, not to mention like the most comfortable sports bras that I've ever tried on ever. You guys watched my last haul. You guys would have seen that, that I ordered a number of sports bras from Two Tags and that they have these super wide, thick elastic bands under the breast area. I'm absolutely in love with them. I haven't stopped wearing them since. Almost every single time now, when I go to my drawer, I pick up the Two Tags set instead of my other branded active wear. Despite them being more expensive, just feel like the two tags ones are more comfortable. I'm more likely to wear them all day. Like I feel like with my other active wear, I have just been wearing them purely for the workout and then I can't wait to get out of them because I just feel like they don't absorb my sweat. I just feel really uncomfortable to wear for the rest of the day. With my two tags, I almost treat it like it's a kind of like an all day outfit for me. I think it's the fabric that they use. It's like a moisture wicking fabric and it's more of like a soft cotton but like elasticy, I don't know how to explain this stuff, but it's just so comfortable. I don't feel desperate to get out of it as soon as I've finished a workout. Sit in this and edit all afternoon or do some house chores. It honestly just feels like a pair of leggings. I, I can't explain it. But that was important to add in because I have been wearing the active wear quite a lot since my last vlog. Just to give you guys my experience on it. Crop tops have been phenomenal for me, especially... For cardio workouts, I have a lot of difficulty trying to find a good sports bra that supports me. Not just for like the jumping, like everyone thinks it's about the jumping. It's also about like doing burpees, push-ups. When you're well endowed on top, when you're doing a push-up, everything falls to the front and spills out. And I just don't get that in this brand. Don't get that in this brand at all. And I find that super comfortable. I continue to wear the same outfit all day. Like, I don't feel like I need to rush to get out of it. It doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. It absorbs all my sweat. Everything that I'm feeling in the workout, I'm just like, no. Nope. Like, I, I could just stay in that all day. A plus for the support and the comfortability and I'm actually super stoked with the quality of the products that I have sent me so much that I wanted to show you guys a couple more pieces this week. First off, we're gonna start with this crop top that I picked up. I actually didn't realize that I picked up almost two of the same set. You may have noticed that this looks really similar to the first set from my last vlog. The other one was a dark navy pattern. This one is the lighter blue version of that. It has the two tags logo on the front in white, which I think is stunning. I really love the way they did the placement with their logoing. Like it's not too obnoxious or in your face. Just like down the front on the left there and around the back there it's got that cute little peep hole. This one is more like a seamless design and doesn't compromise the support at all. I'm not fidgeting or pulling on my straps during workout. It's just super comfortable and supportive. And again I have the matching leggings. These are in the 7-8 length again. You can't go wrong with the 7-8. It's not a full length. It's just about a couple of inches above the ankle all while being super stretchy and comfortable you've got that core stability waistband there tucking everything in but not feeling too uncomfortable and tight you don't have any weird annoying coin purse little slot on the front there you do however have these amazing side pockets this is like one of the main things that i love about this brand is the side pockets on their pants so i find that super handy it does have this cute little white logo on the back which i absolutely love absolutely in love with this color of this set the next set that I got was in this beautiful sage green color which I'm absolutely frothing over like so pretty this crop top is a slightly different design it's more thicker in the straps it's not seamless this one has more of a thicker piping going around the edges there and it does cross over at the back again this design does have the padded cups in there super thick elastic band underneath the breast area and of course this cute little two tags logo on the side in white around the back here we have the crossover pattern which I absolutely love it doesn't compromise comfortability in any way or support 
support just a cute little crisscross over and then at the bottom there it has the little loop now you guys know that I didn't just get the sports bra without the matching leggings so again I opted for the 7 8 in length I just feel like for me that's my perfect happy medium beautiful core stability cute little white logo on the back one actually doesn't say two tags it's just got the logo on the back which is still really cute and minimal and of course those amazing pockets on the side that we all love just in sizing references if anyone wants to know what size I'm wearing I'm normally an Australian size 12 which in their line of activewear is a large speaking of sizing I find it absolutely amazing that two tags do start from a size 6 Australian which is an extra small all the way up to a size women's Australian 20 which is actually a 4 4 extra large. I don't actually know too many activewear brands that do go up to a 4XL, so I think that's absolutely fabulous that they have decided to cater all women's shapes and sizes and not compromise comfortability, practicability, support, and the most thing that we find important to us when we're working out, um, looking cute and being fashionable. I feel like it's not that hard to put the two together, but a lot of activewear brands just seem to miss that mark. I think that's really awesome that two tags cater for all shapes and sizes. Another thing that I love about two tags is that on their social media and on their website, they advertise perfect fit guarantee. So if you don't love it, it doesn't feel right, you can definitely send it back to the company. They're a hassle-free service, and you. You can return the item at the one that you need in place of it ASAP. Not last but least, but there is free shipping on any order over $50 Australia wide, which I think is awesome. I don't know too many brands that do that. Usually it's like $100 or something ridiculous. After the last couple of weeks of wearing this brand, that two tags has really hit the nail on the head. I love their active wear. I've been wearing it in my home workouts. I've been walking the dogs down the street with it on. I've been doing my groceries in it. I really have tried and tested this active wear. If you guys are interested in any of the items down below, I will leave link all the items that I have tried on in today's haul. Also two tags has kindly sent me a discount code for me to share with you guys. If you guys want to go check out on any of their items, I'll be popping that up on the screen here and in the description box below. It is just TT Jody Elizabeth. So definitely go check out two tags. Thank you so much two tags again for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for listening again. And for now, let's move on to the vlog. Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. It is now Thursday. Today we'll just be doing a little bit of a day in the life. Um, I haven't really been doing weekly vlogs for quite some time now just because life has been so hectic. I have still been working my two jobs back into it just because my second job has slowed down a little bit now so I'm doing more Uber Eats and menu log. Don't worry if you guys are following me for that, there will definitely be more vlogs coming. Today is just a little day in the life since I don't really have to be anywhere or go anywhere. That's what I pick up my camera and film. I feel like I always say that, like I'm like, mm, I don't have to be anywhere so I might vlog today and then a whole bunch of shit starts happening. Basically today I have the day off, just made a coffee, I'm gonna have my coffee first and then I've just popped my active wear on. I'm gonna do a little floor workout slash walk on the treadmill because my back was a little bit sore last week. I tried to do Chloe Ting's ab shred workout for two weeks and day four in, four or five, I accidentally pulled something in my back. So I just gave myself the rest of the week off. So now I feel like I need to start from scratch again. Yeah, I will be going back in and doing another Chloe Ting workout, but I think I'm just gonna take it easy this time and not try to like follow along to the beat. I feel like sometimes that's something that's really common that happens when I work out. I try so hard to like keep up with what she's doing on the TV or whoever I'm watching like Pamela Reef or whatever they're doing something to the beat I always try and like keep up with them and like do sit-ups to the beat do push-ups do oh I try so hard to do like jumping jacks or burpees like jumping jack burpees like I always try and do it to the beat because it looks so good on the video like yeah and I just need to realize that I'm a lot older than these women and I'm not as in shape as them and I don't work out as much as them so I need to like slow down get to my own pace maybe like pause it when I can I will be keeping the remote in my side pockets here I'm gonna do one of those today I have a fair bit of editing to catch up on I have a video coming up that I need to put out so I I need to finish that. I finished like all the main edits. I just need to add in this last bit. I think it's like half an hour long and I need to like cut it down to like 10 minutes. And I've got to play with the dogs. I have a small shopping list of things that I've got to get. Didn't want to like leave the house too much today because I do have a new phone coming today. Finally, really excited. Hopefully that comes today. 
So I have that to look forward to and just some general house chores, I think. Just a bit of a tidy up. I'm just gonna finish this coffee and I'm gonna do a workout and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I finished a workout about like an hour ago. I was just kind of like jamming out to Bring Me The Horizon. I feel like ever, ever since Machine Gun Kelly came out with his new song, Maybe, with Bring Me The Horizon lead singer Ollie, I've kind of just been getting back into that era again. I know that there's like a lot of metalcore or like emo punk elders. When I say elders, I mean like people my age, like in my 30s. I don't agree with Machine Gun Kelly bringing back the new punk wave. A lot of people are saying like, you know, people will listen to his music and then they'll see him collabing with people like Ollie from Bring Me The Horizon and obviously Travis Barker from Blink-182 and you know they'll that'll make you want to look back into like the old school punk and a lot of like emo elders don't agree with that. I kind of do like I feel like for me personally even like I haven't listened to punk in years. I mean I occasionally like listen to it in the car like obviously you guys see me singing along to like Alex is on fire and stuff like that. Me personally like I see someone collabing with another artist and I want to know who that is. Like when Machine Gun, Gun Kelly was collabing with Black Bear, like I didn't know who Black Bear was and apparently he's like huge. He's on all over mainstream like music. I like to Google that person or YouTube them and like find out like where they're from, like what their business is in the music industry, like what sort of genre they're going into. So, yeah, I don't know if I agree with like some of the emo elders, but I really like some of his new songs they're getting a little bit like heavier now too heavy because obviously we want still want to like um appeal to the mainstream media and like mainstream listeners but yeah like i can i can appreciate what he's trying to do obviously things didn't work out with his rap career um i don't think rap has completely left him because you can kind of hear it in some of his music still and it's like he is more suited to it let's be honest but I do like what he's trying to do and I kind of like his stuff. I like the the first album that came out, um, Tickets to My Downfall. I like the new album that just released, I think, last month, end of last month. And that's the mainstream mainstream sellout. I really, really like what he's done with Willow, Will Smith's daughter, um, on that track, Emo Girl. Like, that's kind of cool too. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not opposed to it. So, yeah, but I, I just went down like a full rabbit hole, like spiral on Bring Me The Horizon. <laughs> So yeah, just watching that on YouTube, I had the most rubbish lunch. Delicious, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't healthy at all. I just like chucked some plant-based chicken patties together. Pretty yum, I just slammed it in between a sandwich patty with some tomato sauce. And easy, um, I'm now supposed to be editing, but I did start my wedding speech a while ago for my younger sister's wedding. I did start my wedding speech a while ago for my younger sister's wedding. Don't want you guys to see the full thing yet. But yeah, it was obviously a lot longer than it needs to be. Did cut it down probably like a month ago to maybe like a five minute speech. Just got word from my sister that her wedding coordinator told us to keep it to two and a half minutes maximum. Yeah. 
How am I supposed to be funny and charismatic in two and a half minutes? Yeah, I'm just fixing that up. I'm just gonna cut it down. Then when I'm finished that, I'm gonna get into some editing since I'm already sitting at my desk. Get this vlog up because it desperately needs to go up, but yeah. picked up my camera for a little bit but basically I finished the speech but yeah I had like a quick editing sesh didn't finish my vlog but that's okay I can finish it later on tonight I had a quick shower and then and as I got out of the shower I was like oh I need to go to the toilet so I sat on the toilet and one of the dogs like growled at the other I think Odie was growling at boss trying to do a number two on the toilet as you do dogs started like full going at it and like just biffing like big time like and I can't let it go like I can't just let it play out I had to break it up and I hadn't wiped or any Thing. like I was just like you no know, it was one of those split second things where you didn't have time to think and I just like lunged off the toilet with my gym wear like sprawled around my ankles penguin running towards the dogs trying to break them up I ended up being able to split them up and I was like oh my god like this is this has to be the most humiliating moment like parenthood like when it comes to having fur babies get a bit emotional after these kinds of things happen I feel like sometimes fur mama burnout is real like I yeah for someone with three animals in their household like you might even have four you might have like three dogs and a cat or you might have a bird I just feel like for someone with three pets it is a lot I get criticized for saying this from actual parents who like have kids and they'll be like oh like wait till you have kids I feel like sometimes the burnout is real when you have multiple animals as children did I just say as children it's pretty yeah it's pretty accurate um <laughs> I just feel like it's such a big thing that never gets talked about um, because there's like this fear or this animosity of you know saying the right saying the wrong thing and someone who actually has children like taking it the wrong way and like not resonating with it at all and feeling like they need to like up you or, like on your struggle and be like oh but you haven't had this or you haven't experienced this wait till you have kids you know just like yeah it's something that doesn't it doesn't get talked about a lot with people who have multiple animals and it's <sighs> so exhausting I ended up having a shower and after all that happened I ended up taking deciding to take the two boys for a walk separately down the street just to like wear them out a little bit yeah decided to get them to walk it off um, I fed the dogs and now I'm just going down to Woolies. I'm just gonna get us some Caesar salads. That was a terrible park, Jody. <laughs> that was shocking. Let's try again. Oh, I am nowhere in the lines. Oh my god. I've just pulled in at Woolworths. I'm just gonna grab us some Caesar salads, some meat, and some wraps. I think we're just gonna do wraps for dinner for dinner tonight, and then we're gonna watch some 60 Days In. Catch up with you guys later after we made some dinner. Okay, we got the goods. Let's head home. How good is Travis Barker's drumming in that? Fucking awesome. Rissol, vegan aioli, rep bread for me, bread for Jamie, baked chicken tenders, a box of popcorn, fave, next bar. Does anyone else have like a million plastic bags under their sink? Because, same. Mine are low carb, yours are the bigger ones. Remember when it was all I was eating like every day? 
Hiro Suki Lala. Bit of onion. That's nuts. Hopefully that cools it down a bit. It is now 8.30 p.m. We just finished up watching 60 Days In. We had some dinner, chilled out with the pooches for a little bit. And Jamie's just gone to bed. Goes to bed pretty early because he has to get up really early in the morning. Did end up just practicing my speech a few times in front of him to see if like any of the stuff that I wrote sounds like weird or something. Yeah, he helped me like cut out a few things and move them around pause my words a little bit after doing like the pauses and like speaking a little bit slower and more confidently i was then able to decide like whether i wanted to chop some stuff out or not because i added the pauses in i feel like my speech went over the time a little bit i hope it ends up being good hopefully i haven't had too many wines by then and started my words i think i'll be okay watched some 60 days in and had some dinner we had some wraps oh my god that was so good so good. I noticed when I got home from walking the dogs that I did get my phone. I just didn't see it at the front door. So yeah, like this parcel was sitting here the whole time. So I'm just gonna unwrap it with you guys. Keep in mind, like I haven't had an Apple phone for like quite a few years now. It's gonna be weird to adjust, but I did end up going to Kmart yesterday to get some cases because I didn't know if it was gonna come with a clear case or not. I just can't remember like what it includes now. I know that the new ones sometimes don't include like a charger, but that's okay because I just found out that the Chargers are the same ones as the phone that I have now. I'm just gonna open this now with you guys and show you what it looks like in case you guys are thinking about buying an iPhone 13. Then you know like what the packaging comes with and like, yeah, just what to expect. I did get this from Big W. I did shop around a little bit. Um, I don't think they're on sale at all. It was just their basic price, but I did see that they were more expensive at Officeworks. The ones at JB Hi-Fi were like $200 more. I had to shop around to find the cheapest price, but also make sure it was unlocked. The other ones that were around the same price were on catch.com.au. If you guys are looking to get a new iPhone 13 and you're wanting like a really affordable price and too flashy, I didn't get the Pro. I just got like the basic. This one is the 128 gigabytes. So it's not the 64. So I could have got it cheaper, but I just know how much like I use like for content purposes. It takes so many videos and so many pictures on my phone. Vlog a lot, obviously. So yeah, I just know I needed more space. So it just looks like that on the box. That's what the front looks like. That's what the back looks like. It's like opening a new toy on Christmas. <gasps> that color is so much prettier in real life. I don't know why I thought it was just going to look like not as nice. Oh, there's another tab at the bottom there. Whoops. Mr. Seal. <clears throat> Graceful, Jody. That is so much prettier than what I thought it was gonna be. That is so pretty. Oh, are you okay, my little one? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That is so much prettier in color than what I thought it was gonna be. When you open up the box, that's what it looks like. You've got the bit of protection paper. I don't know whether that comes with a, prote a screen protection cover, but I will check that in a minute. I'm just gonna put that there. Comes with a little leaflet on the inside here with the sim card pick so that's obviously to pop open the side there so you can put a new sim card in it also comes with a charger so i didn't know if this was going to come with a charger or not basically i'm guessing that this plugs into the wall mount plug i would have to buy a wall mount plug from apple I do happen to have a charger at my laptop already for my macbook so i can always use that to charge the phone until i get a wall plug that's so strange yes this probably isn't new knowledge to apple users who have been using iphones for a while but i mean i've been out of the loop but yeah it's a good idea because obviously if you get a new phone every time and it's the same charging point every time why keep sending out like wall point charges like that's just you know wasting resources in the environment so i get where they're going with that but yeah i'm just gonna peel off this white bit of paper slash plastic ah. oh, so crisp and clean it definitely doesn't come with a screen protector. I think I'll have to go back to Kmart tomorrow maybe and get one. Uh, that is the phone. So pretty. So you've got the side um, port here where I'll have to open that with the key. Get my SIM card in. The button's on the top. My last one was obviously like basically an iPhone SE. It was the iPhone 5 sort of shape one. 
it had the button on the top as the lock button, so that's not there anymore. On the side here, we've got... Is that a lock button there? No? I'm not sure. That's a volume button up and down. Oh, there's the key thing there. Is that on the other side? Oh, that is the lock button. Okay. That's the lock button there on the side. Must be to put it on silent. That little switch with the orange thing. So we've got that, the volume, and then the key port where you need to change your SIM card over. And down the bottom here, you've got all your speakers and the charging point. So exciting. I might just put a case on it now just because I'm scared I'm going to drop it. Like I've dropped it twice already. You guys have seen that. So I've got these three options from Kmart, all iPhone 13 cases. This one will fit. I've actually just realized that this one's an i13 Pro. My fit. They're the same shape, right? It's just the core processor that's different, right? Got this cute little mint green one. These are all $5, by the way, in Kmart. Got a clear case. I've got this pink one. I might just pop the mint green one on for now, just for safety's sake, because I don't trust myself. What is this, childproof? Oh, wow, that was hard to open. Ooh, that's so fluffy on the inside. It's nice. This case feels like really good quality. Awesome. Beautiful. Should I charge her up? I might charge her up and get her going. Hello. Oh. Oh, swipe up to open. It's been saying that the whole time. Swipe. I feel like there is like a bit of a size difference. They're about the same width. There's definitely, definitely a huge size difference with the Android. This is a lot bigger. I'm not too worried about that. Like I have always like been slightly annoyed by the size of this. Did want a larger phone that I could see like everything on the screen, which is great for me as a content creator, but sometimes it's just too big. Um, whereas this one's a little bit more compact, but it's not, it's not too small in a sense. I think these are gonna take a while to load. So I might just pop them both on charge for now while they're loading. I might just have a fiddle with this tonight. I'm probably, well, who am I kidding? I was gonna say I'm not gonna customize like the appearance or settings too much, but I definitely will. I definitely wanna see if I can get my SIM card in here tonight. If not, I'll have to go to Telstra. So good. Oh, I wonder if it has iMovie on here. That would be so handy. I'm gonna probably spend a little bit of time moving some stuff over, changing the appearance. If I can get my SIM card in, if I can't get my SIM card in tonight, I'll have to go to Telstra tomorrow and I'm gonna like move all my data over um, manually. But for now, that is everything. That is how I set up my iPhone. Really excited to use the camera on this. Heard really good things. Photographic styles. Oh wow, yeah, there's so much more than my other phone. <gasps> That's insane. Cinematic. Let me just quickly film something. What the heck? Do I even need my Canon anymore? What the hell? That's insane. I've got to show you guys this. Look at this. Look how focused it is on that bottle. That's crazy. And on my leg. Now watch my hand. See? What? This is a game changer. This is what I bought this phone for. So amazing. This is all I'm going to be showing you guys for the night. I'm going to probably stay up a little bit later. I'll finish the end of this vlog. Mm -hmm.